Hello everybody, Berto Kai here, and welcome back to Stationers. Alright, so it's uh getting nighttime. Um now I figured out the whole uh the whole filter thing. That wasn't too too bad actually. Uh, you need a hydraulic press um pipe press machine. Uh this can be built in the auto lathe. That's cool. So it's a pretty easy build. You build the machines the same basic way. It's got like a four stage build thing. You end up with a screwdriver hole doodad. Right. So that's uh, something you should be able to do by this point. Um, then uh, what else did we do? Um, we're going to get ready to make some solder uh, that I want to get into today as well. And I want to set up like a little bit of a uh, auto smelting thing here. Um, that way we just put our, our ores in there. We can walk away and forget and it'll, it'll do what it has to do. Um, I believe we have enough power to do something like that. And we could leave possibly that on. So we'll see. Uh, I might have to upgrade our little power afterwards. We might do another opposite setup on this side. We'll see how that goes. Um... But for now, let's jump into making a little bit of soda. Now, um, here we got a zero pressure and all that good stuff. It should be nighttime. Now, I'm going to try to remember to put this on screen. Um, you got like temperature differences that you can uh, have in the game in, in order to make a, uh, you need pressures and temperatures. And if they're not right and they're not exact, it won't let you do what you have to do. Um, so a lot of the videos that I watched really don't talk about um, exterior temperature as well. Uh, they mention it right quick that doing it at night is uh, is good for your your ice because it won't like separate. Um, but your your temperature does drop a little bit faster at night. Um, it shouldn't be a problem if you're you're kind of doing this. But anyways. Um, so I guess we'll start off by taking some red stuff here. Uh, and you only want to do like a little bit at a time because the pressure on making solder is max at 3.5. So your PA there, that should go to KPA, I think it is. And then the other one is uh, your, your oxide here. This should help uh, kind of like ignite it and it's going to get... Um, uh, you're going to get heat from all of this. So, yeah. So, let's uh, just split one off of that little thing. And uh, we'll hit the button because it's nighttime. So, we want to activate this. Otherwise, this uh, hatch won't open again. So, you want to put that in there. And you want to hit activate again. So, now we got uh, three. And see how fast it's going down. So, you got to kind of do what you got to do. So, we're going to put our iron in. That's going to come down here. You're going to see we got iron ingots. Uh, the temperature is still under three. Uh, I think the, the pressure was like, um, I can't remember what the pressure was. I think we should be good though. So here and now it says we can make solder. Bam. All right. So that's one. Uh, our temperature and stuff is still good. So we should be able to make at least one more. So I just want to make like a, a little bit of a batch here and we'll be good. Oh, silly. You forgot that. Get over here. Get over here. Don't fall over there. All right, so we'll put our iron back in. Temperature and all that's still good. That's all smelted. That's going to go in here. And we're going to make more solder. Ta-da. There we go. So now we got 100 grams of solder. So we should be good to make whatever we want. Uh, well, for a little while anyways, and we can just let the rest of that dissipate off because don't really need anything else. Um, not really anyways. See, the furnace is going to be good for like, um, you can set that up to auto heat up and then you could use it as a, uh, an arc furnace and you can smelt all your materials through there, which is significantly faster. But it it's requires a little bit of like hands on at first, right? So we'll we'll figure something else, uh, maybe eventually on an automatic system with that. I'm pretty sure we can do something with automatic with that. Got to be able. To. All right, so we went and set everything up here and hooked everything up power wise, and I think this is going to be the best way to explain all of this. 
Uh, let's get our labeler. Uh, where is Mr. Labeler? I believe you're up here. There we go. So with Mr. Labeler, we're going to label a few things to make all this uh, make sense, right? All right, so uh, first we're going to turn on our labeler and we're going to put this one. So this is a slot reader and this one we're going to make it the uh, input. Okay. Uh, then this one here is... Uh, Export, uh, output, output, oops, put. All right, and then we're gonna go. Uh, oh, you can throw something in there. That's pretty neat. <laughs> All right, so I only have one arc furnace, so I don't need to name anything else. I think it was just these two that I had to. I had a name. Yeah. All right. So we'll turn those off and then we'll just toss that in there for now. Now we'll start with our first uh, slot reader. Okay. First slot reader. We're trying to look for the arc furnace. There we go. Arc furnace. Now what we're trying to do here is we're looking for the output or input. Sorry. This one is the input. The import slot, I guess that would be it, yeah. And then we're looking to see if it is occupied. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Now, we can go over to this one, and it's the same thing. So we're going to look for the arc furnace. We're going to see about the... Uh, where are you? Oh, what did I, put? did I put you on? Oh, sorry, arc furnace. Um... Then we need the export, import, export slot two. Okay, that's good. And then we want to also find out if it is occupied. Then we're going to compare the two, right? So this is what the, the whole compare unit here is for. So we want to compare uh, the reader input. And you want to compare it to the... Uh, reader output okay and you want to make it a greater value so if this here is occupied and this has a what a greater value so it means anything less than that so if this is occupied uh, that's how it means. So if this is occupied, don't put anything in here. So if this isn't occupied, you can put something in. That's how that means. <laughs> All right. So uh, now we go to our logic writer. Now, this is what's going to tell the arc furnace how this is working. Okay. So we're going to have to do our logic uh, writer. Uh, is it a logic writer? No, it's a logic compare. Sorry. And then the to do to do, I think it's this one here. Uh, this should be the arc furnace, and I believe this one should be activate. There we go. And then that's it. So, um, it's saying to check what's going on with this. Okay, so if the slot in the front is available, then put something in, if it's not, then wait. Um, and that's pretty much all it. So that's what's telling the arc furnace to do. That's a pretty much well brief breakdown of what's going on with this little arc furnace here. Wow, crazy, huh? All right, so now I guess uh, I want to take this out of here. Put that there. Good stuff. That was like a two for one type thing. I didn't mean to pick that up, but I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to turn this on indefinitely now. And then same with all of these things. And we're going to check to see if our logic is proper. So there's nothing. Nothing's flashing. So that means everything is set up good. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this stuff up. So what we want is a corner. And then we're going to go back to a straight. But I want the window version. 
And we're just gonna put up a bunch of these. Cause uh, you know. We can. Now your choice on how high you wanna make this. I figure something like this is gonna do my fancy just nice. Uh I want back down to corner. And down another corner, and we'll come back down. And we'll go back to, what, the windows? Yeah, there we go. And we'll come back down. Okay, uh, that's it. Get off of that. Yeah, I should be able to reach the rest from here now. Oh, if I change it the right direction, maybe. There we go. Uh, I will have to. Just maybe one more. There we go. Ah, oh, wrong ones, man. Wrong ones, dude. I didn't want them ones. Alright. Uh, window windows. I want the windows, man. Alright. Down here. And... Yeah, and I think the last one here needs to be, like, the shoot in... What is it? Is it a bin? I believe it's a bin. Uh, where is that arrow? I might actually have to destroy this one right here. Because this bin... Yeah, it takes up a lot of space, right? Bam. Just like that. So it needs power. And there's like a little switch in the front here. So we'll go get rid of these things here. And we'll switch these and that. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Was this you in my way? Um. Oh, sorry. Go like this. You not connect. I guess maybe I'll start with this one here. And then we'll bring it down. Then we'll try to connect it, maybe. If it's going to be so nice to... Oh, there we go. Excellent. Excellent. So now we can turn that on. And then when we come get ores, um, I'll use these ones that are over here as an example, maybe. What do I got over here that I can use? Anything worthwhile? Uh, I can use the two iron. How's that? And then I'll stagger them. I don't want to really use the lead. I have no need for it, really. So we'll just do the two iron just for demonstration purposes. So we'll put one iron in, right? Hit the lever. It's going to go up. It's going to go into the smelter. It'll start smelting. So uh, we'll put this one in here. This one will go all the way up. And it's going to wait in here. So while this one's doing its thing. So it won't let anything in in the meantime, right? So there's 13. Now it's automatically smelting these ones. And when it's done, it'll pop them out and... That's that, and we'll have an automatic smelter going on. That's that's pretty awesome. I'm glad I write stuff down because I'm telling you, like it's uh, to try to remember sometimes. Like the your 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 logic is it's kind of funny, but anyways, that's pretty good. So that can kind of run in the background a little bit. Um, our battery is still pretty pretty darn full, so that's pretty good. All right, so I figure we'll um, end the episode with uh, just maybe a little bit of like base design kind of thing going on yeah i think that would be kind of a good idea um so i want to do i want to stick with the the one of the windows so i'm gonna do windows here and here right here i said i wanted to excuse me i was talking here i wanted to do like a um another way out to another room for like a small little gas room i guess um, this is going to be, I'm actually going to need a couple of iron frames. Oh, wrong one. Sorry, my bad. Iron, uh, iron frames. Yeah, I thought, thought this was really cool. Watch this. This is kind of funny, actually. Um, the first one, when it comes out, bloop, it gets thrown into the here. So if that ever your machines are side by side and you're missing one, look, look right in there. That's where it is. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Um, all right, so now we got some frames. Um, I want to put a frame here. I want to put one here, and I want to put another one there. 
All right, so now that's going to be for our airlock to go in this room. I'm probably just going to have my piping come out. I don't know. I really don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. Um, then we're going to do glass ceilings too, because I think that's going to be nice. Yeah. Just so we can see out, see what's kind of going on here. Just kind of prepare for how we how we want things to look and all that beautiful stuff, right? And then, and then in the next couple episodes, things will start kind of like coming together a little bit more because uh, is it all done. Yeah, it looks like it's all done. Yeah, the next couple episodes, everything will start really slowly start come like piecing together and everything, right? So. And then we, we might do another room too where uh, we have all of our our machines in there too as well. So this way this is kind of more of a like, um, I don't know, like a hub, this first little area maybe. Or maybe we might put all of our machines, the one in each corner or something like that, like, the, like this one is. Yeah, that could be a thing too. That's kind of bad, bad because there's only one more machine to go, I think. And that one's the, um, uh, the uh, tools. Yeah, something like that. Um, but anyways, yeah, everything is looking pretty good. So in the next episode, I think what we're going to get into is hmm, a little hard to say. I think we might actually start doing more base building and getting things more set up. So we have power. Um, eventually, I'm going to get another little battery system and we'll extend our... Um, our uh, uh, what else? <laughs> Horrible with words today. Our solar panel system up a little bit better. And we'll also uh, do the layout for, I think, this right here, this room for our gas room. And start figuring out that and getting our piping ready and all that. I think that could be a thing too. So uh, I guess we'll do a little bit more base building in the next episode and preparing for gas, I guess. Um, that way we can maybe slowly get this place pressurized and get a little bit of a hydroponic setup going on because we're still not bad for food. Um, we still got like five bars left, so that's not too, too bad, but that's that. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody like subscribe and we'll see you next time. Take care.